inner sanctum. Hasten the destruction of the Green Dragon. Leave only bones and sinew for the reanimation. Heroes, lend me your aid. I... I cannot hold them off much longer. You must heal my wounds. Valithia Dreamwalker is the first boss in the first week. This is one of the unique fights where the healers will play the major role in the raid. In this encounter, the boss in the middle of the room needs to be healed from 50% to 100% to finish the encounter. The main mechanics are the red portals that Valistria spawns around her. I have opened a portal into the dream. Your salvation lies within, heroes. The leader will assign which healers will enter the portals and who will stay outside to heal the raid. At first, you can just see a small red circle on the floor. After a few seconds, it will turn into a red portal where the healers can enter. Once inside, healers will only have 20 seconds to collect the Emerald Vigors, which are red orbs that deals damage if you get close, but gives you a stacking debuff that increases your mana regeneration, healing, and damage done. The goal here is to collect as many stacks as possible by entering the portal immediately once they are available and not to drop the stacks. Once all the assigned healers reach 20 stacks or more, which is roughly 3 to 4 portal entries, all healers can use their cooldowns and pop heroism to spam the healing on the boss and finish the encounter. Please note that healing Valithria generates aggro from the ads. to lay these foul creatures to rest. Meanwhile outside, the tanks and DPS will need to kill five different kinds of ads to avoid wiping. First and the priority are the Blazing Skeleton, which does a raid-wide damage channeling ability called Lay Waste, which cannot be interrupted unless killed. Second priority are the Risen Archmage, which casts Frost Bolt Volley, which can be interrupted and mana void, which is a black circle on the ground that burns the mana of any player standing. Third is the Glutonous Abomination. It has the highest HP among them and deals area damage in front of him, and when it dies, Rotworms will spawn, for which hunters should place their frost traps below the ad before it dies. The tank here will also face the ad away from the raid. Fourth is the Blistering Zombie. This is a fast moving ad that deals area damage when it dies. Hunters should always take the aggro of these ads and kite them until it dies. DKs can use Chains of Fights to help slow the ad. And last are the Suppressors. These ads will spawn multiple sides and they come by threes. They will channel Suppression to Valithria, which reduces her healing received per stack. This ads needs to be cleared especially when the raid uses heroism to finish the encounter. Overall, the fight is easy as long as the DPS knows which ads to kill first. Tanks and hunters need to maintain aggro on the ads that they are assigned to avoid them from killing the healers. And lastly, healers need to build up as many stacks as possible early in the encounter because ads will spawn faster as the encounter stays longer. I am renewed! Is Sarah grant me the favor to lay these foul creatures to rest? And please don't forget to like and subscribe.